It even lights up the whole town. <laughs> He's not used to having not need binoculars to read a scoreboard. <laughs> My ADHD's kicking in and I keep staring at it. Like, it used to be. It's like, all right, which one of those is down? Which one of those is timeouts? Are we ready? Yes, sir. Ready to rock and roll. You are looking live. <laughs> All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Viking Sports Network. We are powered by Vipe Media. Eric Holt, BJ Hill, and the birthday boy, <laughs> Coach Kane Tomlin. That's right. will speak only when he's spoken to, and he can speak right now. Good evening, Kane. You, know, you got to flip the mic down to the whole thing. Here we go. Kane, how are you tonight? Happy birthday. Uh, I'm doing well. Excited. Uh, beautiful two and a half hour trip down to San Antonio. Well, yeah, of course. Two and a, two and a half hour, I didn't huh? get to stop at the Alamo like you and Coach Hill. But... <laughs> well, we remembered you forgot, and That's so right. that was the whole thing. Right. You can't not remember the Alamo. Um, so we are coming in. This is round two, right? And so, um, you know, talking to the coaches, everybody felt pretty good about the game, but at the same time, they knew, hey, you know what? Let's. This is... This is playoff football. Anything can happen. Um, so, Coach Hill, tell me, you know, tell me, what do we know um, about London? Although they are, um, you know, on this side of the pond. Yeah, we're talking about. They like tea. Miss Coonsie. Um, Miss Coonsie. Miss Coonsie. We're talking about Texas. <laughs> London, Texas. Corpus Christi, London, Texas. Yes. Uh, so they come in, uh, come in tonight, district champs in our district 6-0 and 10-0 uh, on the season. So they beat Goliad in double overtime last week. Um, twenty-seven, twenty-one, and here we are. Yeah. So, and I think the uh, the big thing about last week that you know that that was the that was the question is who has who has London played? Um, you know, and and they weren't sure, but the but the thing that kind of caught everybody's attention about London was they were down. They were down. They were down by two scores, yeah. almost three scores in yeah. that in that playoff game. They roared back, and so you know, I think what London showed in that game is if they're down, they're not going to fold. They're going to keep playing, keep going, and keep going. And uh, because you know, well, in the playoffs, it doesn't matter who you play exactly anymore because it's, it's who plays the best that night. So that's what you got to do. You got to go play better than the other the other team, and you get to advance. Yep, exactly. So um, you know, last week I think with um, with Lago Vista, they showed that they had some playoff. They, they were ready for the playoffs. They were they had, and I think the playoff experience has shown right the the state the what was that not state semifinals in the the year before but one round before right the, to get to the state semifinals um, regional finals yeah and so I think. That playoff experience last year really showed, like, okay, hey, we're not here, and we're not happy just to be in the playoffs. We are here to win. Let's make a run, right? And so that's that's been a uh, that's been a that's been a key component, um, I think, for the, for the Viking team this year, uh, where they just want to, you know, it's like, hey, we are not satisfied with with just showing up. The Vikings, you come in confident, but you're not looking at next week. So you got to do what you got to do tonight, right? And and you I think know, they have I think the they thing. have seen that so. they 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 felt the burn from that loss to Lano last mm -hmm. year in the playoffs, and, and man, those those losses they 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 really hurt. So, um, Coach Tomlin, what do we need to see tonight? Viking football. What do we What do you want to see out of the uh, the offense and defense? Uh, I think the big thing for the offense this year is just. Limiting turnovers has been a huge thing. Uh, and then I think our defense, if they keep playing like they are, causing turnovers, uh, especially Bryce Jackson averaging his 12 tackles a game. Uh, it's big, pretty special. Uh, big push from the D-line. Um, I, I think we should be fine in capitalizing on our defense, making big stops. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's really big. So what we're going to see out of London tonight is on offense, they're, they're spread, right? And they're going to try to – Just like us. Yeah, so it's going to be um, – they're going to they're gonna hit you with the big plays. They have really good receivers. Um, not sure which quarterback we're going to see tonight, so that was difficult with uh, with the preparation of, of not exactly knowing who you're going to see, what tendencies they're going to have. And so that was a uh, that was a thing. And so um, – different because everybody we faced really for the last – 
four or five weeks has been run oriented. For sure. Yeah, so hey, we're gonna take a quick break. It is the Viking Sports Network. We are powered by Vipe Media. Coming back in four minutes for kickoff. God, are they bringing their band? All right, we are back. Two minutes and 37 seconds to uh, kick off. I want to thank our sponsors tonight. I cannot thank the Laga Vista Viking Booster Club enough for, for putting all of this together with the uh, with Vipe and Viking Sports Network and everything. I uh, can't thank our local sponsors enough either. Vistago Print, huge. Waterloo Homes by Braun. Thank you very much. Um, North Lake Church. Um, we can go with Baker's Brisket. Beans, the Beanstalk, Elite Stone, CMG Financial, Made in the Shade. Um, there's a whole lot. Security State, Bank and Trust, Realtor, Suzette Whitehead, uh, Randolph Brooks, Federal Credit Union, Dr. Stephen Smith, the orthodontist, um, Vanna Lee Photography. And so um, also thank you again to the Booster Club for all they do for all of our sports um, as we uh, as we go through the year, you know, football, volleyball, we're going to basketball. We got basketball in the morning. It's a whole deal. So, um, you know, going around the um, going around the league tonight. The big game that we're going to kind of follow tonight is Edna and Blanco, um, because the winner of this game will go to the winner of that game. And now that we're looking ahead, but that's just that's that's the next thing on the radar. Vikings come out tonight. They're going to be in their blue jerseys with their white helmets. Edna's going to come out in their white jerseys, white helmets, white pants. Hold on. How much time? Do you want to talk or are you just pointing? Hey, my bad. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you know, that's a... Uh, it's nice, nice to have somebody. It's like a fact checker. Yeah. That's that's Coach Tomlin right here. He's our he's our own fact checker. So thank you, sir. Um, I did not see. Did you see who won the toss and who's uh, receiving? I don't think who's kicking? Yet. Their or, captains are about to walk out. Okay. So yeah, okay, because the captains are walking out. It looks like captains for tonight. We have. Let's see. Captains for Lago is going to be number three. Bryce Jackson, number 14, Gavin Hester, number 20, Logan Parsons, and number two, number two, Katie Fussell. Those will be the captains for tonight. Captains for London, I believe that's number 84, um, number 64, Bryce Marshall, number 25, Jacob Charles, six. number six, Patrick McNorton, and number 55, and number 55, Reed Roizapel. All right, so 
Teams are shaking hands. Beautiful stadium out here. In a, okay, have you ever been to Somerset, Texas before in your life? First time. First time for me as well. Um, it was a little challenging finding an actual restaurant, but we found an, a really nice pizza place here. Um, and uh, oh, they uh, and, and the stadium is nice. They have a uh, the off to our right. We are in the press box tonight. Off to the right is a video scoreboard. Uh, they have a couple of cameras, so uh, we've got video here at the game. The, t the call on the field is heads. And London wins the toss. They are going to receive. So Vikings are going to kick off, and here we go. Oh. Yeah, and I know... Um, um, we're just talking, uh, sorry, we're getting some text messages from people about the video stream. I'm not sure if the video stream is working right now. I heard that it's not. Um, so we will work on that if possible, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. You'll just, you may just have to listen to the radio. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we'll paint a picture. Yeah. And we will paint a, um, a, a, an audio masterpiece. So Vikings come out to kick off, and I'm, um, Vikings are going to kick from left to right. This is Marlon Gavrat, number 31, to kick off. Oh, yeah, we'll go right to left. Sorry, they, man, there's a... Here's the thing about radio, guys. Nobody knows. So just let it go. <laughs> now, they do know that we're not playing Edna. So... All right, Vikings kicking up right to left. Marlon Gavarette, number 31, to kick off from the 40-yard line. Round two of the playoffs start right now. It's going to be a short kickoff, and it'll land at the 25-yard line roll to the 20. And a oh, broken tackle. A couple of tackles goes to the 40, 45, and going to be taken down near midfield. I, don't, I didn't see the number on that guy, but he was able to, you know, just, yeah. just, just kind of duck through until he was able to uh, get a pretty big gain out of that. He, he picked it up at the 20, was taken down at the 47-yard line. First and 10, London Pirates at the 47-yard line. 48. Two in the back there, huh? Yeah, so they're going to come out. Um, we're going to have one wide receiver to the right side, one to the left side. They're going to have two in the backfield. They're going to be set off to the quarterback's right. Both running backs are set to the quarterback's keeper. right. Quarterback keeper up the middle goes across the 50 into Lago territory. Gain of about five number, on first down. Brings up second three, and five. Mason Arispe, Arispe is a quarterback. They got a pretty good little push on first down right there. About six-yard gain. Yeah, it looks like we'll go second down at four. Right side of that offensive line. They'll come out in the same formation, two running backs, two the quarterbacks right side, one to the left, one same to the right. Play. Another quarterback keeper go dives up the middle, no gain, maybe maybe one. Oh, I guess they give him two you on that You one. won't guess who's getting up off the bottom of that tackle. we got Bryce Jackson. Yeah, Agent Sedan, Sojanic, Wyatt Forbes also in there, creating a wall, creating a third and is it about three. Yep, third down and three as we have 11 minutes and – Three seconds left in the first quarter. Games just started. 0-0 ball game. London in their first possession of the game. They'll come out with trips left. One wide receiver to different the right side. Different, different quarterback. quarterback and number one wide receiver to. Oh, oh it looks like intercepted, intercepted at midfield. Wide receiver fell down. Who is that? That is oh, Bryce is. Jackson. Right place, right time, Eric. The receiver there tried to get the ball out to the flat as they had blockers out there. We run the very same play with yep. Ethan Helton and Gavin Hester. And the receiver just fell down. And Bryce just happened to be right place, right time. Vikings get a turnover early in the ball game. Um, but you said it earlier, they're going to have two different quarterbacks th throughout the night. And that was number one, Pearson Cazales with the throw. And just unfortunate for the – for the Pirates, great for the Vikings as we can start on there, 47. Vikings come out, trips right. That is Bowen Oh, he's Stop. wide open. Nobody, Nobody covered Braden. That is Braden Smith. He's at the 15-10. Oh, Touchdown, Vikings. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody covered. Just a breakdown in coverage and alignment. 
you know, showing a lot of respect for Ethan on the other side of the field with basically all the secondary over yeah. there. And Bowen just got the snap. Braden was jumping up and down, throwing me the ball, and put a good ball on him. Braden outruns the defense. Vikings on top. Well, and that was I, – I heard somebody say, nobody, nobody, nobody. Yeah. And then I looked, and I didn't know it was nobody. Yeah, literally <laughs> nobody. And it's like they just didn't see him standing on the sideline. And so here comes Gavarette on to kick. Here's the snap, the hold, and the kick is good. So with 10 minutes and 33 seconds left. Nice catch. Did you catch that? Way yeah. to go. Yeah. 10.33 left in the first quarter. Lagavista strikes first. 7 nothing. Hey, if you're looking for a for custom screen printing and embroidery, Vistago Print continues to be a proud sponsor of your Laga Vista Booster Club. They're ready to help you with all of your apparel needs. You got T-shirts, caps, Viking tote bags, really all the dis- all the apparel displayed at the Viking football games were designed and printed by Vistago. The Laga Vista Viking. Uh, the Laga Vista Middle School shirts, the cool Aerosmith ones, Vistago print. Um, so you can um, stop by their booth, stop by um, stop by the uh, store, Vistago print, and uh, or if you need anything, just call Vistago print at 1-888-255-5541. Visit their website at vistagoprint.com. If you want to make another repeat announcement about the... Um after <laughs> So we're working. Um, we're apparently there's some problems with the video feed, and uh, so we apologize for that. But it looks like you've just got audio tonight. Um, Gavrett's going to go to the left side. It's going to go oh, out of bounds at the 20 yeah. yard line, but that'll be a flag. And that was, you know, they were just trying. If that can kick right, then then you're. I tell you, you're the ball they're shape. letting the ball land, Eric, which is. That's risky because that ball could bounce backwards right into Laga Vista. So they're taking a risk by letting that ball land the way they've done now twice, and that could burn them. Looks like they're making a re-kick. Oh, it looks like we're going to re-kick it. Well, it, on that last touchdown, it's kind of just a simple formation. You tell your guys to get out wide and make sure to spread the defense. And no one ran out <laughs> yeah, there with them. And yeah. they did, yeah, for sure. All right. Did I did I put the Lago score in or did you? I did not. That's your computer. I'm just I'm, I'm a little confused I, I, I not, here. Sir. No, sir. So oh. that backs us over. We're now kicking off from the 35-yard line. So it's going to be a re-kick. It looks like I can't tell. I don't think they've adjusted their cover or their their formation too much here. Just a so, score update. In the six, Blanco zero. First quarter, eight minutes oh, left. Low line drive kick that time. Fielded at the 18, Eric. But oh, yeah. There, that was fielded by number five. But so, but the whistle was blown, I guess. He, when he fielded he it, he was oh, way down. down. Yeah. Oh, so that's a, yeah. They cut it on a knee. Caught it on a knee. So there we go. Vikings. London's going to take over on the 19-yard line. So... Not a good, uh, great start for the Vikings here. <laughs> for I mean, sure. Deep in their own territory. Here we go. All right, so three is back in. Well, no, I'm sorry. Who is that? Oh, handoff number three up the middle. He's going to break a tackle and be brought down by Wyatt Forbes and number seven, Connor Card, on the tackle. Maybe a gain of about, we're going to give him three yards. So far, every running play has been on the right side of the line of scrim, on the right side of the center. That was number three, Mason Arispe. Okay, but, uh, London comes out, two to the left, two to the right. Man's going to go into motion, and they're going to fake oh, the man, wow. and fake the jet sweep tackle by number 42, Garcia, behind the line. That was... Folks, think of uh, Bruce Smith 1990 Super Bowl just swallow the, the defender or swallow the ball hand, the yeah. ball carrier tackle. David Garcia broke through uncovered and blew that play up. Loss of about five yards on the play. I mean, just just wrapped up the, the ball carrier, took him to the ground. 
So nobody, where's one man back now? They're looking at the throw. He's going to roll to his right. Looking down at the hitch, he's going to make the throw. There's a flag on the play behind the line of scrimmage in the area of holding, or maybe an illegal, uh, possible, possibly a chop block. Hopefully, not. yeah, it's going to be holding against the offense. So the Vikings will probably, yeah, yeah they're going to replay the down because the pass was completed out to about the about the 27, 28 yard line, so it would have made for fourth and short. So, Black has been making play again. So, in a quarterback right now, it's like that's Preston number, Cazales, number eight. These yeah. numbers are hard to tell, even with binoculars. The font on them, yeah, it's number eight. Preston Cazales. All right, Cazales is looking to the sideline for the, uh, for the play. 20 seconds left in the play clock. He's going to come to the line. He's going to have trips to the left, one in the backfield. That's going to be to his left. One wide receiver out to the right. He's going to roll to his left. He's rolling, rolling, looking down the field, looking down the field. He turns the corner. He's got nowhere to go. And he throws down the field. And ball yeah. is I, looking for the signal. They're going to say incomplete. Oh, incomplete yeah. pass. He bobbled that going out of bounds. Yeah, Vikings did a good job of keeping everybody in front of him. Ran the quarterback to the sideline, really had nowhere to go, and just kind of threw a 50-50 ball on the sideline. So Vikings force a punt from deep in the Pirate territory here. So let's see, Helton will go back to receive as they set up in kind of it. Well, they don't set up in point formation. No, they yeah, it's don't. probably going to be a short It's going to be a, yeah, a short kick here. Yeah, they're trying to get us to yeah. jump. Yeah, because it's but fourth it's, and four ever. Fourth yeah, and it's 22. Fourth and, yeah, so I mean. It's fourth in the Alamo. <laughs> oh, no, they're going for it. Or are they going to kick it? They ain't going for it. Wow. Holy smokes. Wow. And I'm not just let sure. the ball fall. Yeah, I don't understand, but the Vikings will take it. And the Vikings are going to take over, folks, on the nine yard line of the Pirates. Fourth and 20, and they go for it. And we kept sitting here like, we're like, it's sooner or later, Ethan's going to drop back. And, you know, because we played. Um, could be play in district that kind of did the same formation yeah, to where they would drop into a kind yeah. of a short kick, you know, punt formation, and they never dropped. And he rolled to his left, and you're calling, well, maybe he's a left footed kicker. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And no, nope. I think you could you could run that a thousand times, and I would never yeah. believe you'd go for it on that one. All right, yeah. so Bowen go. Sob's going to come in at Corby. He has Smith to his left. Trips right. He is going to hand that off up the middle. Parsons. Parsons is ripped down oh, behind yeah. the line. Good no gain on the play. Good tackle because if number 55, who is that? Reed Royce Paul does not make that tackle. Logan gets close to scoring, Eric. Yeah, for so, sure. He had that edge. He had a yeah. lot of he had he had that room to a, go. It was a good good one on one tackle right there. They're coming out in the same formation. That's Braden Smith. One touchdown catch already. It's seven to nothing. Lagavista leading with eight twenty left in the first quarter. Trips to the right. Parsons in the backfield. Bowen Stab takes the snap. He will hand that off up the middle oh, again. Yeah. He gets to the inside the five. Yeah. So is it Odin time? It looks it to be it's Odin time. And I think, you know, at this point, it's four down territory. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think two plays sure. to score from the five. Garcia's Back there, Wyatt Forbes in as a blocker. Jeremy Hill in there. All right, You've so you have Bowen Staub and Ethan Helton that wide to the right side. Yep. Garcia in at quarterback. He will take the snap. He oh goes up the goodness. middle. Oh, there's and a flag. Looks like we they're going to call us either for legal procedure. procedure. Yep. Yeah, false start. Dang gummit. Because <laughs> he was that was a touchdown. He was, was going to walk in. That's exactly right. That was a touchdown. Tell you what, David Garcia gets. He looks. It's looking good. Yeah, his, his ankle's foot. back. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Odin package goes back to the sideline. It's going to be <laughs> second down. No, it's going to be third down. Third down and ten? Yep, third, yeah, down third and goal ten. from the ten? Yep. So, oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. yep. All right, they're going to go trips left. That's Helton Hester Smith out wide to the left side. Parsons in the backfield. Hold him at top. Yep. And Bowen's going to look, look, look. He's got pressure. He, he oh. slips up the middle. He might get in there. Yep. And he's in the end zone for yes. a touchdown. Yep. He just broke the broke the contain, and we've seen that from him this year, Eric. He is he's athletic. And if you don't keep him contained, he can burn you. And Vikings 13 to nothing early on as we barely under six minutes played. Well, that was a heavy blitz yeah. by London. And uh 
you know, what Bowen has learned as a quarterback this year is, step hey, up. step up, and he got in, right? He, he made it through that line of pressure. And then, you know, he had an interesting moment there as, as he was crossing the line of scrimmage. Calden had broken free, and so it's like, okay, throw it or Keep take it in himself. Good. There we go, 14 nothing Vikings, Eric. This is an outstanding start. You couldn't ask for anything better going on right now for the Vikings. 721 left Sorry. in the first quarter. That's okay. Water the Homes by Braun holds true to providing superior designs, quality craftsmanship, and unparalleled value, making homeownership attainable for almost any buyer. Visit braunhomes.com to learn more. Waterloo Homes by Braun, dreams built daily. Well, that fourth down call burned them right there. That was, you know, and he coaches got his whole team over there on the other side and called them up into a huddle, you know, probably giving them something, hey, we were down 15 or something last week. Right. You know, so... Your Vikings just keep it going. I'll you know, be interested. So we'll see, I'm yeah, sorry. no, I'll be interested to see what kick That's they go exactly. with tonight because they have gone a little uh, something that try to tries to land about the 30, 25, 30 yard line uh, on the right side, on the left side, and and we'll see we'll see what they do. And then they tried the low line drive, um, oh, just a, and he your... just kicks it long. It's going to yep. go to the five and oh, he's going to touch it. He's got to yeah. run it. It, it died at about the oh, one. Vikings are going to get him inside what the five-yard line. 17. Eric. This ball is going to be sparted at the four-yard line. I mean, it's Colin just. Colin Davis, great tackle. It just, Vikings are just playing outstanding right now. All he does to do is just fall on that ball. And, oh, the ball checked up right yeah, at the Yeah, the ball one. checked up, right? It so didn't that was roll a, into the end zone. So. He didn't have an option. Yeah, he, he had, had to, pick to pick that up, up and. And then the, I think the, the what you would want to coach at that point is just run forward. Don't run yes. don't run sideways. Yes, but. All, All right, right London comes out. They're going to have trips left, one right, one in the backfield. The and he's going to go down the right side. And Ethan, yeah, Ethan had nice it. play. Good coverage. Got his head around in time and then just went up and high-pointed the ball and swatted it like a volleyball. Yeah. That was uh, intended for Pearson Cazales. Yeah. And that was, uh, you know, I don't know. Pearson didn't see that no. for a while. He's a big, tall kid. I mean, yeah. Ethan's not short, and he's probably got half a head of height on him. Yeah. I mean, he's a big right receiver, and they try to throw a jump ball, kind of a, a fade almost kind of type of route with a lot of room on the right side. Ethan just being Ethan Helton, being an athlete. Got okay, so. So I just noticed this. Uh, number eight is Preston Cazales. Oh, and and slant route. And, and it's intercepted. intercepted. Bryce Jackson. Second interception in the game. <laughs> and once again, right through the hands of number one, um, Pearson Cazales. And right into, I mean, Ethan was up contesting the ball on the slant. And right now the ball is just finding Bryce. And he, Bryce was on his knees as he caught it. So the Vikings are going to take over on the 12, Eric. Our, our starting score, uh, starting field position has been pretty, pretty good. Sp- pretty good. 7 3 left in the first quarter. Lagavista leading 14 nothing. And it looks like well, Garcia's in. We're no, we're setting our standard, standard package here. Okay, yeah, he's a uh, Garcia's at the H pack. H-pack. Yep. Parsons in the backfield. Smith out wide to the right, two to the left, and they will give that to Parsons. Oh. Bowen, oh, Bowen keeps oh, it up. He's going to go in on the man. He's at the 5 10. That yeah. will go 10 5. Oh, wow. In the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, just good old read option. Pulled it back out of Logan's stomach and just beat his man on the edge. And once Logan, once uh, Bowen does that, there was, there was nobody. Nobody. And Vikings right now. Wow. Yeah, like, this has been um wow. <laughs> that's so that's all you can say about the start, right? Is. Wow. All right, we have Gavrett to kick the extra point. And there's a snap. The hold and the kick is up and it's good. And oh Cooter oh. is unable to make that catch. He just get it off see. the bounce and returns yeah. it. 
But it was a good throw off the bounce as they returned yeah, the ball back good. to the sideline. Like, uh, so, so 656 left in the first quarter. We haven't played seven minutes. 21 0, Lago Vista leading. I mean, we haven't played seven minutes, Eric. Holy smokes. Lagavisa Booster Club would like to thank North Lake Church for their continued support. North Lake has an array of programs for you and your family. You can join North Lake for Sunday morning services every week at 9 a.m. or 10.45 a.m. If, you want to prefer, if you'd prefer, join them online every Sunday starting at 9 a.m. on their website, www.mynorthlake.com. For more information about North Lake, joining one of their community groups, Please check out their website, www.mynorthlake.com. Give a couple shout outs tonight. Um, Kuderna Walker, having a little ladies' night enjoying the game. Hello to them. Miss <laughs> Coonsie, her dogs patiently awaiting their halftime right. walk. Is my gonna, pooch kick? Yeah, it's going to land on the again. 15. What a roll by Oh, one. this uh, one's going to get in the end zone. But he's got he touched it. Vikings are going to down it. He throws a ball up, and I think they're going to say he's down in the end zone. And now I, I don't know. It's got to be a safety. I, I couldn't, no, Eric. It's a touchback. I think we'll it's see. a touchback because I don't know if he touched it. I didn't know it. if he threw it at the end or not. Yeah, so, so it. Threw it. Well, let's see. Well, the referees are conferring. If anything else can go wrong for London, this would be it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he touched it on the ground. Okay, so the ball okay. was not possessed. Okay, so fine, an automatic fine. touchback. Yep. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because I'll say, if he touched that ball, then holy smoke. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Once it crosses the line, it's dead. Doesn't matter. What do you want me to do? The 40 or the 25? It should be a 25. Ball's at the 25 yard line. Vikings will take over. Coach Phillips out conferring. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure we don't want two points? No, no, no. But he didn't tell me to do anything. This is All right, London comes out, and if you're London, it's like, <laughs> yeah. okay, we cannot win this game on this drive, but what we can do is kind of hold, you know, stop, stop the, stop the bleeding a little bit. All right, London's going to come out. They're going to have one in the backfield, three. Uh, we'll have trips right, one left. Now, the quarterback here is number one, Pearson. No, it's uh, number number eight. eight. I'm sorry. Number eight. That is Preston Cazales. Yes. Number one, wide receiver Pearson Cazales. Both juniors. I'm going to go out on a He's limb on and right say now. they are related. They're going to go to the left side, and quick little hit. It's going to be caught at the 25, goes to the 30. Yeah, just 35. Short, short little hitch route, and uh, – Made the first man miss and uh, got first down yardage. That's their first first down of the game. And that's huge, right? You know? If you are, if you're um, London, you said, "Hey, last week, guess what? We came well, back. We can do the same thing here." Six thirty-six left in the first quarter. Twenty-one nothing. Lago Vista leading. Ball's at the thirty-six yard line. London's going to come out with trips right. One in the backfield. One to the left. Yeah, you got and double moves. I have a feeling are going to be in order with this game from here on out. It's going to be Hand handoff up the, up the middle and taken oh, down. Nice. Who is that? That is number Miles Topo, number four. And there's wrapping a flag up on the play as well. We'll see what the flag is. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? It's in the back. It's in the backfield. we got holding on the offense. So it's going to make it first and 20. Replay the down. It's a good tackle right there by Miles. Really good tackle. 6-11 left in the first quarter. It's going to be first and 20. Lytle ball. Lytle tonight is going, right now, going from left to right, wearing their all white jerseys, white helmets, white jerseys, white pants. Laga Vista in the traditional white helmet, blue jersey, white pants. He's going to take a snap. He's rolling right. And... Oh, you got to tackle him, guys. Yeah. Bryce Jackson holds on and then yep. finished off by yep. Miles Topo. Yep. That ball was... Dangerous, Eric. Uh, yeah, that was in the Ethan air. Ethan Helton while. was about a half step. It was in the air a long time. Ethan Helton was, was about a half step from a pick six right there. Turned it into a six yard gain just to throw out into the flat. For, is it Kenazones? No, is it, it's uh, Kazales. Yeah, Kazales. I think that's his brother. He just threw it to his brother. All right, we'll have trips to the right. One in the backfield, one to the left, and they're going to go to the 
Open side of the field. That's complete yep. to number five. He's going to go to the 40. Almost a first Ooh. down. Let's see. They want a flag for a tackle out of bounds. And They're not going to get it. They, Colin Davis rode him down from in play. It was close, but a big gain there on second down. It's going to make it third and very short. Yeah, I think that was a, uh, you know, a, a, it, they had plenty of cushion. Yeah, we had a lot of cushion on that. And so they just threw another hitch route, another about a five-yard hitch route. And then he's very elusive when he gets the ball. He was able to make up that yardage. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Third down and two. Trips right, one left, one in the backfield. And it's going to be a quarterback keeper. keeper. He goes across the 45, and Ooh, he is, he is stopped close. up. It's going to be close. Nice uh, hit. Looks like they're going to give it to him. Yeah, it was a nice hit by the defense. I believe that was um, yeah, Bowen Staub. Yeah, first down. But I think his forward progress is just, I mean, by yeah. a ball. They marked him. <laughs> yeah, they marked it by about a half a ball beyond the line. So the, uh, tough the, yards gained, but they got enough for the first down. Referees in the Lago yeah not happy. Uh, on the on the Lago side Boo. disagree with yep. the spot of the ball but <laughs> right, we're going to have trips right the the ball is on the right hash mark one to the left okay, one so in the backfield right. they're going to do a little hitch, pump fake move. they're going for the double move down the left up, side and yep, ball's complete is. at yep. the 25 yard line so you knew with the hitch routes they've been running they were setting up a double move yeah so, and that's what they did there. We bid a little bit on it, and the ball was kind of a jump ball. We just didn't get our head back up to make a play. So, big gain for the Pirates right there on first down. Ball was complete to number five. That was Mason Jacob. Ball's on the left hash mark. Trips right, one left, one in the backfield. And they'll Handoff. hand that ball off up the middle. And it was about the 20. Yeah. Connor Card came flying in there. Yeah, yeah. clean it up. Yeah. David Garcia with the Wrap up, Eric. Maybe a two-yard game. Yeah, we'll go uh, second down and eight. Balls at the twenty-yard line as we go under four minutes now. Twenty-one nothing. Lago Vista leading. Got a line change essentially for a whole lot of new people just came on the field. Well, it's a line shift and a new formation, oh, Eric. New formation. Number one is yeah, number end. one is a tight end on the opposite on the left side of the line. So yeah, they're trying to get a massive match like, up here. They're going to run somebody from the jet sweep, but it's a reverse, uh, and then they're going to go back to the quarterback, and he's got Bowen's in inner oh, incomplete inner pass. So what? Two pitches, two pitches, and then pitch back to the quarterback. Yep. And they were trying to uh, so that formation was pretty much two tight ends, mm -hmm. and then two uh, people not out wide at the wide receiver, just kind of back yeah. off the line, maybe about five yards yeah. off of, off of the uh, edge of the line on each side. Reverse, reverse. Hey, back to the quarterback. Uh, Bowen Staub stays uh, disciplined and uh, messed up that play. They're going to go on the left hash mark. They have two to the left side, two to the right side. Quarter, uh, quarterback's going to roll right, roll right. He's got his man, and ball's going to be complete at the 15-yard line. Yeah. Just short of the first yeah, down. Yeah, it's going to bring up a fourth down and two. Yep. It's a nice throw right there. Good catch, nice throw. They've been another, doing that in the backyard since they were three. Yeah, another outside hitch route. Uh, threw that on the run. So far, the quarterback has been on the run. They're going to go for it. Yep. Here, fourth down and three, two to the left, two to the right, one in the oh, backfield, and then the start. offense Let's jumps. Uh, we're assuming it's a false start, but it looked like the uh, line jump. Let me see what the call is. They don't talk the about referees it. Referees Kinfer. <laughs> Talking a little too long for my taste. <laughs> Come on. It's clearly a false start. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think, you know, the argument, the discussion is yes. who made who jump. Yeah. And yeah, number one. we a long time here. Like, this could go against looking, the defense. We, I saw the left guard move, but, you know, I'm looking through blue and gold glasses. Right. For sure. Which are fair and un, unbiased <laughs> and just. So and balanced. Clearly, yeah, unbalanced. <laughs> but whatever, yeah. All right, start. after yeah, a long go. conference, offense, uh, offsides on the offense. That's going to bring back, bring them back five and bring up a fourth down and nine. But, I, I mean, assuming they're going to go for it since they went for it on fourth well, and 23. Yeah, so let's see. They, well, let's see what they do. we got another ask. Gonzalez is still in the game at quarterback. And New running back. New running back. Okay, so the ball's at the 20-yard line, fourth down and nine. They're going to go 
trips to the right. They've got a tight end on the left side. Gazellas. Uh, man goes into motion. He's going to go from right to left. He's wide open on the left side. They're going to try to go, go back to him. Back. Oh, and really? that's complete at the 15. But I don't and think he got what it. A play Who was number that? 14. Gavin Hester. Stopped him shy of the line of scrimmage. They set the play up, I thought, pretty well as a little throwback screen, really. Yeah. Eric. Throwback screen. They had some blockers. Gavin Hester shot in there like a missile, Eric. Tackled him in the open field. Turnover. Yeah. Ball Viking. Or Viking's got the football. That was a good so, play call, good play it design. It really was. I thought they got it there. And, and you know, with, with the way football works, sometimes you have one opportunity, one person makes a play. Yep. Gavin Hester made that play. They decided to guard Braden this time now. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. All right, Vikings come out huge fourth down stop. They've got one to the left, two to the right, one in the backfield, and Bowen's going to uh, keep it himself. He goes to the 15. He goes to the 20, 25. Oh. He is out of bounds. Yeah. Past the 25-yard line. And first down yardage. He had a lot of room. <laughs> yes, he did. You were just loving. We were just thinking. My goodness, is he about to score in his third consecutive touch? <laughs> exactly. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. Oh, we got London, a London, London. It's a sideline warning. Mind your P's and Q's. I'm not sure what we'll happened. Did see that? But here we go. Two thirty-nine left. First and uh, first and ten for the bike, uh, Vikings. Balls at the twenty-eight yard line. They're gonna uh, balls on the ha left hash mark. Two to the right. One to the left. Man goes into motion, and they are Delta going flag. to get a yeah, false, false start. start. Yeah, I think I saw somebody. Yeah. Somebody lean in a little jumpy. I agree, Eric. I think the right side of our line, just a little, little, uh, a little antsy. Yeah. yeah, a little antsy. So, try to get that ball to Helton. He hadn't touched the ball yet, other than a couple swats on defense. Yeah. You know, in your Vikings, you're up 21 to nothing, and that's the case. <laughs> you're you're so, feeling I mean, pretty good about yes. that. Oh, a delay of. So, I guess that's a, a substitution penalty. For the okay for, for the pirates, so it's Coach Sandlin. What'd you see? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see anything. The play That's, talk was good. Everything yeah. was good. That's why he's one of the best, folks. <laughs> one of the best killer commentators, killer commentators in the biz. Balls on the left hash mark. Trips right. Oh, They're going to give that to Parsons. Ooh, Parsons, really nice yeah. tackle by number twenty-five. Uh, yeah, twenty-five. That is Jacob Charles. Tackle in the backfield for about a loss of a yard right there. Eric, the only thing I can assume is that uh, London tried to sub and we did not sub anyone, so that is a penalty. Yep. Thank you, sir. Way to redeem yourself. That's why he's the best in the biz. Best in the biz, right? <laughs> Just Maybe when I books. didn't think you could be any dimmer. Okay, so now there's <laughs> there's <laughs> something's going. I don't know if the chains got tangled up or something, but okay, what is? They had to reset the chains. Yeah, it was first and five. Okay. So they yeah they got the chain. So we got second and six. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Second down to six. One forty nine left in the first quarter. Yep. Twenty one nothing. Lago Vista leading. They're gonna come out. Lago's gonna come out with two to the left side. One to the right, Parsons in the backfield. They'll give that to Parsons. He slips the tackle, goes across the 35, 37 yard line. Gain of four. Gain yep. of four. Yep, a little extracurricular after the play. Good discipline by um, David, Ramirez. David Ramirez there. To, yeah. You know, there's a little pushing, and he just, hey, just keep playing the football game. Keep, just we're just playing football between the whistles. Let's go. So We're going to have Helton and Smith out wide to the left. That is about third and one here, third and one and a half. Yeah, right? about third and one. Yeah. One in the backfield, and they are going to go big well, they are blitz showing, here. Well, they're going to get – so they threw a flag, Eric, and, you know, we talked about how our line sometimes will get set and then stand up to – to look. To look, and that's what happened, but they're going to, I think. I think they're calling it out London. Yeah, they're but London was. The snap count. London was jumping. They're doing a whole lot, you know, showing blitz and this, that, and the other. Yeah, they were going to. So, snap count, right? yep. They were, they were selling out on the run. At least that's what it looked like. So we have one minute, three seconds left in the first quarter. We'll see what the call is. So let's see what the call Offsides, Offsides on the defense. defense. So free first down for the Vikings. So far, it has been a nightmare of a first quarter for London. They're, they've 
committed penalties, turnovers, trailing 21 nothing. There's still a minute to go. And, and you know, so, so Lago has – Capitalize on those turnovers. As, <laughs> oh, no, we're trying to get the chain set, I think. All right, so referee stops so, the ball, yeah. stops the play, and I think he's got. He wants to. The, wants the, the London wants the London coach wants an explanation to figure out what is you yeah, know what was the call or why they were called offside. Uh, score update: Edna is up twenty-one zero on uh, Blanco. Yeah. Okay, it was one we've been so, watching all night. So a little mirror action yeah. there. All right, so Brayden, yeah, Brayden Smith is uh, is, is pointing to Bowen. They they yeah they're they one on one up something. top. They're one on one up top with no safety over the top. So it's a 50-50 ball up there. First and ten, Bowen's going to roll right, and he oh, is going nice to be taken down the behind blitz. the line, number 25, yeah. Jacob Charles again. It's going to be about a six, seven-yard loss on run blitz right there, and Bowen wasn't able, to, wasn't able to make a miss and a good tackle. Yeah, London right now is just all or nothing. Yeah. I mean, they're having to try to make a play, try to create a turnover to try to give themselves – something going back into this game on a scoreboard so look for a big play opportunity here for the Vikings if you're able to execute going one -on -one oh we got Helton Hilton. yeah Helton by himself they're trying to determine if they want to bring yep. it nope they're going to put two on him yep and it looks like a timeout has been called yeah, that's the end oh, of the end first quarter. quarter. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. First quarter's over. There we go. There we go. All right. So an interesting <laughs> and that that last minute of uh, the first quarter was not the oh, prettiest whoa. quarter in football. I got a score update for you. Yes, Eric. sir. Um, San Diego Vaqueros, fourteen to nothing over Lano. Wow. After one, that's a that's bit of a shocker. That's a big one. That's a bit of a shocker. So they that the winner of that game <coughs> played the winner of Industrial and Poteet, who are both tied at seven, going into the second quarter. So, all right, hey, let Made in the Shade Blinds and More Boston take the guesswork out of transforming your windows from ordinary to extraordinary with the latest in blinds, shades, shutters, or draperies. We bring the showroom to you with our shop at home convenience and free design consultation and estimate. Made in the Shade Blinds and More of Austin, locally owned by Matt and Kelly Houston. Their top-notch customer service cannot be beat. Call them today at 512-426-0761. Made in the Shade Blinds and More of Austin. All right, here we go. Second and 15. Second and 15. The ball is at the, we'll go, 38-yard 38. 38 line. London is bringing yeah, the heat. Showing, at yeah. least that's what they're showing. Second and long, and, you know, with, with that, Showing a lot of one on one. Yeah, and yeah Coach Phillips is, is calling the play like, okay, you want to bring the heat? Well, we'll go over the top. Let's go. Tight coverage on all sides. Bowen is going to pitch that. It's oh, going to nice. go to Logan yeah. Parsons. Makes oh, a nice save. It's going to the 35 gosh, to 40. Logan. 45 <laughs> fit. Oh, almost out to the 50 yard line. Please describe that pitch and catch. That was an incredible catch, Eric, by Logan Parsons because the pitch, Bowen had to pitch it before he wanted to because of the blitz. And he kind of threw it behind Logan. He just reached up with one hand. It looked, Eric, like we were going to take another loss. Huge loss. And then just made a man miss. And then it ran it for about, what you say, about a 10-yard gain. Yeah. So we got third and five. I third mean, and five instead of third and negative four into a positive right there by Parsons. Big play. Ball's on the left hash mark. Two to the left, two to the right. That's going to be Calden's going to go into motion. He's going to go to the top side of the field. Baron's, uh, Bowen's going to roll right, roll right. He's going to pass. Come oh, on, almost Helton. in and out of the hands of Ethan Hilton. Yeah. Ethan, <laughs> Ethan Yorling makes that catch. So it was a nice throw on the run. Bowen has shown that he can throw. He throws the ball pretty well. Throwing, moving to his right. So the Vikings bring out the punt team here. The I ball is placed smart. at the 48. Ethan Helton is your punter. Last week we chance. know that he tried to <laughs> run one from a long way back. You cannot sleep on Ethan Helton as a punter. You've got to be. Oh, they're putting everybody over Yeah, there. they got one man deep, and they've got a lot of people out. So I <laughs> yeah. think they're aware of that. So. Yeah, I think. Oh, oh we, got a, we got a penalty. I don't, well, yeah, there's a penalty. I think we got him to jump. Ethan punts it. 
All right, so the really ball's down at the 23-yard yeah. yeah. line. I think we might have just got a – yeah, there's a flag right here field. on our on our sideline. Offense going back up. Yep, I right, believe it's, it's going to be an automatic first down again for the Vikings. Yep, yeah. offsides. Offsides on the defense. Let's give the puncher the credit for the hard count. <laughs> I don't know where the yes. count comes from. Oh, yeah, yep. 18 yards behind the line of scrimmage. Or the deep snapper, a.k.a. Yeah. the golfer, yeah. Braden Smith. <laughs> exactly. So. All right. After, uh, again, right? So, <coughs> for London, you don't want to – you, you want to play, and if you're yeah. – you know, you don't want to play against yeah. yourself, right? Playing against Lago is tough enough, and they are making some – they are making the game a little bit more difficult for themselves in this in this first half so far. <laughs> All right, so Bowen's going to come out of quarterback. Parsons is going to be in the backfield. He'll have two to the right side, two to the left. Ball's on the left hash mark. They are going from left to right. Bowen's going to flip around. He's looking down the field, and he's going to sail one intended for Ethan Helton. Yeah, that one just sailed on him. I mean, that's absolutely what happened there. He looked left, looked in the flat for Smith and Hester. Didn't like what he saw, rolled out right, and... Just yeah, launched it. <laughs> <laughs> he he got a he got a hold of that one. Yeah. Eleven thirty four left in the first uh, first half. Trips right. Balls on the left hash mark. One to the left. Parsons in the backfield. Bowen's going to give that to Parsons, who goes oh, around the left side. 45-40, He is out of bounds yeah. at the 25-yard line. Yeah, just great blocking by the line. Logan, I don't think, was touched, Eric, until he was past the first down marker. Big, big gain right there on second down. 25 yards. That's a 25-yard 20, yeah. gain. And that's, you know, what we've seen continually all year is to just keep getting on the ball, keep getting on the ball. And he will break free at some point. Ball on the left hash mark. Trips right. And they'll give it to Parsons again, who goes across the 25, almost near the 20, taking down at the 21-yard line. Solid three or four yards right there on first down, right up the middle. And I will say, Eric, I saw number 64 before the game. That is a massive human being. Yeah, he is a head he is a head taller than everybody else out there. That is number 64, Bryce Marshall. He's a senior. For the London Pirates. Yeah, I mean, he is a head taller than everybody else on the field. Second down and seven. Ball's on the left half. Mark trips right. Oh. And Bowen's looking down the side. He's looking right, looking right. He's going to throw it into the Jump end ball. zone. Oh. And almost yeah. intercepted and almost caught by Baron Calden. A little bit of everything on that one. Yeah, it looked like he had Hester in the flat for, you know, maybe not necessarily a wide receiver screen. Just, you know, get the ball in the flat and... Decided to go for everything there, throwing a jump ball back in the end zone. Unfortunately, it wasn't picked off. Barron had to play a little defense. I tell you, uh, Bowen had a lot of time, which, yeah, is, which he's, is huge. He's He's got all day to throw right now, Eric. Third down and seven. The ball's at the 28-yard line. Ball's on the left hash mark still. Smith, Heston, Heston. Oh, oh, looks oh, like oh, a, oh a little play. broken play. Yeah. That was Helton. And called in on the right side. They wanted to do the pitch. Yeah, it looked like it they wanted wasn't to... there. And yeah, so loss of a yard. So I think here comes Gavarette, the kicking team. So Vikings are going to try a field goal from the 24 yard line. Looks like Gavarette's going to set up the kick at the 31. So it's at a 41 yarder. Yep. So in pregame, he was pre -game kicking them from the 40 yard line. So now if you're. They're going to go for the block. The kick is up, and oh, my goodness. It wow, is. that is good. Yeah, no doubter. Uh, great field goal. 10.09 left in the yeah. first half. Lago missed a 24. That young man is showing to be quite the weapon. He has, I mean, he has been a great addition to the know, team. Kick hey, he had a Blanco was huge. Hey, fans, if you want to live in the hill country, would you like to live on the golf course or maybe purchase – that lakefront property you've been dreaming about? Well, every day at CMG Financial, we strive to create mortgage solutions that complement our child's, our client, wow, our client's overall financial strategy and assist them to most effectively accomplish their financial goals. We remain sensitive to the fears that many homeowners may have about obtaining a mortgage loan and earn their confidence as a trusted advisor. 
through one of the most important financial decisions they may ever have to make in their lifetime. Call CMG Loan Officer Chris Menjarez to get pre-approved today in a new home. Call the Chris team in Austin, 512-874-3702. Give you a quick score update, Eric. Lana was on the board trailing 14-7 halfway through the second. Yeah, I don't think Lana's going to go quietly in that one. No. There's the kickoff from Gavin. It's going from left to right. It's going to be fielded at the 30, and yeah, they will take a knee. Yeah, fair catch and a knee. Just so we're clear, I'm not going to run this back. 24 yeah. nothing. <laughs> at halftime, we have an exclusive interview oh. with band director Peter Duploy. Sweet. Hear about the band, their uh, experience all this year, and we'll talk about Shockingly, their Christmas concert. Oh my goodness! That time already. Okay, uh, okay, you're right. It's actually. Yeah. Hey, if you go to the grocery store, they're already playing Christmas music. Yeah. 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 It was Easter. Yeah. Oh, right, comes out. They go. They go back to the two back set. They're going to hand that ball off up the oh, middle, and he is no going to be way. gobbled up for 40. a loss of one on the play. Aiden Stojanic, Wyatt Forbes, the interior of that line just blew up that play, Eric, and there was nowhere to go. I mean, the interior of that line just. Yeah. Said, no. You actually can't run through here. Yep. Nine minutes, 40 seconds left in the first half. 24 nothing. <coughs> that looks like Mr. They... Holt stopping people in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your pass? That's right. <laughs> no pass, no play. All right. Uh, balls on the left. Hash mark. Trips left. One to the right. And that quarterback's going to roll right, roll right. And he gets his brother at yeah. the 35-yard line. Steps out of bounds. So he's got a strong arm, Eric. He gets the ball out there, hit him right out as he came out of his uh, out of his cut on the hitch, and it goes for a gain of about. Boy, they didn't give him much. Yeah, he must have stepped out of bounds. Yeah, they, uh, so they didn't give him down at six. It Man, looks like fortunate spot there for the Vikings. And I thought they didn't give him forward progress. Yeah. Well, so, I think he stepped out yeah, before so, they uh, before they did that. So, what did he say? So they're going to say ball at the nine fifteen. Yeah, so third and five. So the quarterback is showing that he's got an arm, yeah. and he can throw on a run. You know, they're not going to leave him in the pocket. They're going to keep him moving. So, Ball's on the right hash mark. They have a running back to the quarterback's left side, two to the left, one to the right, and yeah, they're going to blow that play. dead. It's probably a false start. False yep. start against the Pirates. The Pirates, oh, the Pirates are racking up penalty yards right now. You know their frustration is just mounting as a third and five goes to a third and ten. Yeah. Looks like we're about to have the tight end set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Max, Max Protect. Look for something downfield with number one or number 12. All right, looks like they have. Nope. Uh, so a little trips left. Trips left. Ball's on the right hash mark, so trips on the wide side of the field. One off to the right, and quarterback's going to roll left. Roll left. He's got some pressure, and oh, he's taking oh, the, the ball out. Eric. Ball recovered by Lagovic at the 25-yard yeah. line. Gavin Hester came in like a missile on the rollout and was able to punch the ball out of the quarterback's hands, and Vikings are going to take it over. I couldn't tell. I think that's Wyatt Forbes, Wyatt Forbes yep. on the recovery. So another big play, another turnover forced by the Viking defense. It, it is uh, – Hard to ask what else they can do on this first half. What is that, three turnovers, four I, I turnovers? I believe so. Three. Well, three. Two interceptions. Two interceptions. Well, a turnover fumble. on downs if you count that. Yeah. You know, so. Can we get a score off of the defensive stuff? Right. Can we do that? You said more to ask for. <laughs> <That's, laughs> okay. It's true. I mean, I guess if you're going to nitpick. <laughs> All right, 9.06 left in the first half. 24 nothing. Lagavis has taken over at the 25-yard line. They're going to have two wide receivers to the right side. Ball's on the... Yeah, right yeah. hash mark. Jeremy Hill in at H back. Helton goes into motion. Helton's going to. Oh, Whistle it's going to be blown, blown dead. Yeah. As that's the. That is the referee bonus yeah, call of the night. The is start. offsides. Because there's been a lot of that. I'm confused. I think they had us. I think he said number uh, 21. 
So, yeah, I called it on Baron over here on the end. I guess just moved a little bit early. Okay. Yeah. Well, here we go. Same formation, two to the right. Uh, that is Garcia. No, that's Hill at the H-back yeah. position. And they'll do the so. Bowen Stobbs going to keep it. Oh, and nice quarterback keeper goes about to the original line of scrimmage, maybe yeah. a yard short. Brings number, up second down and 11. Number 25, Eric, tripped him up there in the backfield and kept him to about a four-yard gain. Otherwise, Bowen's in the open field, you know, where he's tough to – Tough to bring down. That is number 25, Jacob Charles. Called his game a few yeah, uh, times tonight. Balls on the left, hash mark. Two to the left, one to the right. One in the backfield. That is Ethan Helton goes into motion. He's going to go behind. Oh, he's, oh, got, he's got him too. Called him he has there. Baron called in Helton too. Called in. Oh, he came out. Incomplete. I think he ran out of room. Yeah, Ethan took a little bit of a hit on that play. Threw a great pass. Is a pitch back pass. We haven't done that yet this year, but we know that Ethan's got the arm. Yeah, you yeah, know, for sure. Just Baron unable to secure the pass. So it was a great, great play design. Vikings unable to execute for the touchdown, though, as it was there. All right, ball is at the, let's see, the 26-yard line, third down at 11. Two to the right, one to the left, and... Bowen's going to roll. He's going to do oh, a little quick pass hitch to there. number 12. Jeremy Hill goes to the 20. Seven yards. Seven yard pass. So it's going to be fourth and about four, Eric, from the 20 yard line. Here and, comes yeah, the kicking here comes team. The field yeah, goal unit. He's just going to be content, put more points on the board. And why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, there's no need to do anything think, else right now. You know, again, as you're up 24 0. Everything that you should do, right, you should do something to, to put yourself in a, a better position to either win or, hey, let's give Gavrett the opportunity to kick some field goals in game situations. The kick is up, and it is very good. Good by a I mean, lot. Vikings that add, Alamo. Yeah. <laughs> Vikings up three or add three more. All right. 7.39 left in the first half. The score is Lagavis to 27, London 0. I want to thank the uh, the Booster Club. would like to recognize some additional business sponsors this year as they have continued to support the Booster Club and Lagavis Athletic Program. Because of their generosity, generosity, well, that ensures that our athletes will continue to have many more great seasons. So the Booster Club would like to give a special shout-out to Baker's Brisket, if you're traveling through Lago, make sure you stop by the food truck parked off Loman Ford Road.